Gboard is Google's first iOS keyboard. Boasting integrated Google search, emojis, GIFs, and glide typing, it is definitely a standout keyboard. But should you get it? Let's find out. This is the wear notice review of Gboard for iOS. First, let's take a look at the built-in Google search function. To access it, simply tap the Google logo in the top left corner of the keyboard. From there, you can search Google like you normally would, and then view the list of results in a horizontal, card-style interface. Google did a really great job of making it easy to browse the search results in this keyboard, which is especially needed since keyboards occupy such a small amount of screen space. When you come to a result that you want to insert into wherever it is that you're typing, you press the share button and Gboard inserts the search results information. Gboard also automatically copies an image representing the search result to your keyboard so that you can share that in addition to the other information. This is very nice since it allows you to enhance the result that you're sharing with a little snippet of media. Now let's check out the emojis. Gboard has a huge catalog of emojis just like iOS's pre-installed keyboard. Still like an iOS's standard keyboard, you're able to change the skin tone of certain emojis as well. But what makes Gboard's emojis different from the default iOS keyboard is that Gboard lets you search through its emojis. So if you want to look at the dessert emojis, you don't have to scramble around trying to find them. You can just search Gboard's emojis for dessert and then they're there. Gboard also has built-in support for inserting GIFs. It has many, many different categories of GIFs that you can browse through, or you can search for other GIFs if you can't find what you're looking for. Additionally, Gboard allows you to swipe from letter to letter to type, which Gboard calls glide typing. This feature works well and is pretty accurate. Gboard also shows you what word it currently thinks you mean when you're using glide typing on top of the keyboard, which is pretty handy. Now that you've seen what Gboard has to offer, should you get it? Yes, I definitely recommend trying it out. It's very functional, it looks good, and its main features work very well. It's even free, so there's really no reason not to give Gboard a try. Well folks, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the Wear Notes YouTube channel over here for more tech reviews and additional tech related videos. Speaking of subscribing, I'd like to take this opportunity to formally thank everyone who subscribed to the Wear Notes YouTube channel so far, since we surpassed 100 subscribers last Wednesday, May 10th. It's an incredible milestone, and it's all thanks to all of your support, so thank you all so much.